to what even is an equatorial platform. When I first got this, when this first arrived, uh, I asked people, the good people of Twitter, what they thought it might be. Uh, had some, what I thought was amusing answers. We had a Derrily Triangle, Trivial Pursuit Piece for Giants, a Pyramid, uh, a Porcelain Pizza, Huge Slice of Pizza, Imperial Star Cruiser, a Sexton, uh, Quite a few comments about the cat, which, yes, fair play, I think. Uh, parmesan, wedge of parmesan, huge slice of cheese, a lot of food answers, uh, I like that. But yeah, an equatorial platform. It's a thing that you can put a telescope or something on, and then you can get about an hour's worth of tracking. Uh, so following the sky. Uh, it's got two plates, this one. Uh, so this is where you actually you put the mounted typically unmotorized Dobsonian is what's typically put on these. Um, uh, so yeah, put your Dobsonian on there, and then there's a, a pivot and some tracks here. Uh, so the bottom plate kind of like pushes it along, and then it follows the shape of these uh, to keep the same thing in view. And then here's the bottom one with the the roller that the track goes onto, uh, the place the pivot sits, and then the driven, uh, the, dri the drive thingy. So that's what, there's some friction on that, it pushes the, the top plate along. So why would you get one? Uh, interesting question. Well, uh, there, it is cheaper than buying the, the price difference between your unmotorized and motorized Dobsonian from what I could tell, just having a quick scat around, was about £700, and this was £400. So it's cheaper than buying the, the motorised equivalent of the same telescope. Um, but actually it's, it's a bit different to use as well, like it's a bit of a different sort of paradigm I guess, like it's, it doesn't have go-to or anything. It's One thing I really like about it is just kind of the simplicity of setting it up compared to setting up an equatorial mount. So you just have to get it level and get it uh, pointing north. So it really is simple and the, the power supply is just some batteries. I've got some uh, rechargeable batteries in there, but just this little thing that's stuck to it. Whereas I think on um, a typical motorized Dobsonian, you, you have to carry around a sort of power pack or something. So it's good for portability and simplicity, which fit in with the Dobsonian like ethos. And I think, yeah, it definitely, you know, for that very reason, it feels like it stays out of the way when you're observing, just like the benefits of using the manual Dobsonian, which I've always loved for many years of observing, they sort of carry through to this. Like you just, there's nothing between you and the sort of observing, you just get on with it. There's no like, uh, no need to use a hand controller or, or anything like that. Um, so I do like that about it and uh, it's also flexible, so I use, my own scope is um, an 8 inch Dobsonian telescope which I can put on here no problem and my outreach organisation has a 16 inch manual Dobsonian which can also go on this, this is the, the larger model that uh, David Lukehurst makes. So yeah, it can take telescopes up to about 20 inches I believe, so you could, you know, depending on what you've got, rather than if you wanted to go to motorised and you had to buy both telescopes twice with motors then you know you only have to buy this once it kind of could make sense depending on what you're up to uh, definitely you know what I, I really quite like this um i really quite like it it's uh i don't have that many sort of ha properly handmade things so think about my sort of sky watcher dobsonian tube like it's sort of chinese made and it's been great, but I mean, it's like not the kind of quality that this is. So it feels kind of nice to have a quite a posh thing uh, like that. Uh, for visual use, it's, I would say, amazing. Um, when you're at the eyepiece, it just works 
kind of seamlessly. I kind of love it. And, and you know, like what if you're used to the manual Dobson in anyway, it's just luxury to have that exact same experience, but your target stays in view for a, a really long time. I've used it for some planetary imaging at about uh, three meters focal length and it does work for that. Um, finding it tricky with my Dobsonian because it's got a bit of wear and tear, I find it hard to do fine adjustment, uh, which is a problem I'm sure there might be a solution to, I don't know. And then for Deep Sky, I haven't, I haven't got there yet with the, the platform and Deep Sky, so I haven't, uh, I think I need to work out some way of getting the alignment more precise, but even then, they're not really made for Deep Sky, uh, so the it's quite a crude mechanism for pushing it, and I notice when I'm on a planet or something, sometimes it'll stick for a bit and then sort of catch up to itself, or... It's not not really made for deep sky uh, imaging, but not to say that that's impossible or anything, but, but yeah, having good times with this. Um, uh, so should, should you get one? Uh, I think it probably depends what you've got already. Uh, so in my case, having those two telescopes I wanted to use this with, like, it just kind of fits into that equation really nicely and it depends on what, what you've got and what you want, it may or may not do that. Uh, I like the portability, uh, I like the, the quality, uh, the simplicity of it, uh, definitely. And then I'm really into planetary at the moment, so I don't mind the fact that I haven't got it to work out with deep skies yet, and uh, using it for visual is just, just brilliant. So yeah, I do like it. Uh, this video is not sponsored by David Lucas. <laughs> Uh, but it was very nice to buy a telescope uh, accessory off him. He, uh, he was treating me well as a customer, so I definitely appreciate that as well. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any questions about equatorial platforms, I can try and answer them in the comments or direct you to someone who will know the answer. Um, I understand that if you have the chops to make things, that it's actually fairly doable to construct your own equatorial platform. Uh, I am not practical whatsoever, so that is, that's a no-go for me, but uh, you may you, you may differ, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, that's it from me for this one. Uh, take care out there. See you ladies. Bye.